sea scallop on crispy tortillas with a corn and avocado relish. So the first thing we're going to do now, <clears throat> you can, if you want to use tortilla chips, like corn tortilla chips, that's totally fine. For this, I actually use flour tortillas. I just like the, the, the sort of light flaky crispiness that flour tortillas, when you fry them, give you. It's just, it's, just a, it's just a textual thing for me. But again, if you just want to open a really fantastic bag of, of corn tortillas, you know, be my guest. But I'm, I'm just going to show you how I do this really quickly. So just a little canola oil, and I just heat the, uh, the flour tortillas up until they get sort of nice and golden brown. You just kind of want to move them around. You don't want them to go too fast, it's kind of nice and slowly until they cook all the way through. Uh, this, is what they, this is what they're going to look like, you know, sort of nice and golden brown. And you want them to be, you know, nice and crispy. And this is going to be the vehicle for your, mm. for your scallop. So I have some corn here that I took off the cob and I just sauteed with salt and pepper. You can roast the corn if you want. Um, you can steam it. But what I do is I take the corn off the cob raw and then just quickly saute with a little salt and pepper. And then you want to make sure that you let it cool down because the avocados that we have, again, this is a, you know, a, a Haas avocado, a California avocado. Um, and you want it to be uh, soft, dark, it's the, it's the sort of pebbly avocados on the outside and you want it to ha make sure that it has some give because you want them to be ripe. So we're gonna cut them in half. I'll just show people how, to, how I cut an avocado. Just cut the avocado in half and you reveal that, that beautiful flesh, that buttery flesh of the avocado. And then what I do is I take the, the end of a knife and I just kind of uh, go into the pit and I turn it and I pull it out. Now, don't do this because that's where danger happens because the knife is very sharp. I just sort of take the, uh, the edge of my thumb and I just push it down so it just releases itself, okay? And then when the avocado is down on the board, not holding in your hand, you want to you wanna dice it right in the skin of the avocado. And it's not really a perfect dice, but it's more, they're, more like, they're almost more like diamonds than anything else. And then you can just scoop the avocado right on top of the corn relish. And you want about equal parts avocado to corn. We're gonna slice up some red onion. I'm gonna use some chilies. Let's see, we have a serrano chili here. It's the cousin of the jalapeno. A jalapeno will work, it's fine. And we're just gonna slice up about half of a serrano chili. Get some of that heat in there. All right, so we have the avocado and corn relish. So that's done, and now we're gonna saute some scallops. So what I do for the scallops is I just put a, like a little bit of a seasoning mix on it. Uh, very, very simple. Some salt and pepper, of course. Um, and then uh, some, you can use some paprika or some chili powder. You don't want it to make it too spicy. Uh, and then some, just a little bit of, of, uh, of cumin. A little bit goes a long way. I love so we just wanna put a little bit in there. And this is like our, our seasoning rub. It's to give it a nice, it'll give it a smoky flavor. Beautiful. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And then we have our scallops. And we're just going to, our sea scallops, we're just going to sprinkle on this, the seasoning. And then we're going to go over to our saute pan. And these scallops are going to cook like, I don't know, 25, 30 seconds once we get it going very, very fast. Uh, we have a nice hot pan here, a little bit of canola oil. There we go. Can I get a pair of tongs in there? And then, we'll put our scallops in this, on the spice side down, okay? Gotcha. And you want to see that sort of, that smoke billowing, so you know you're gonna get a really good crust on the outside of your scallops. So like, count to five, four, three, two, one. That's it, we turn them over, and we should get a nice little crust on the outside, perfect. And you see that the spice rub becomes part of the scallop itself. Beautiful. We don't, we don't overcook the scallop. And now you just kind of like put it all together. Um, you want to make sure, that, of course, that the corn is nice and cool so that you can fold in the avocados. And then we're going to put this, the, our beautiful seared sea scallops right on top of it. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime and some cilantro gotcha. on top and we'll be good to go. It's so That's beautiful. It.